Alright, what is up everyone? So, we have got this week's event week involving the survival missions being two times money. And I am going to be giving you a little bit of helpful information to help you through these 10 plus waves of survival levels. So, we have a number of survival missions. Um, some are proper classics that have been in since the beginning of the game and some of more recent ones being involved with an alien themed update introducing new survivals and the survival creator where you can create your own survivals. But we are going to be going over some little sweet spots that you can go in some of them. Now all of the older ones, the class, like if you're a classic GTA player, you'll know all these spots, um, but all of the older original survival missions, they all have little sweet spots where if you sat in that spot, you would basically not be able to get hit at all, even if you're away from the controller. Like you could completely put it down, leave the room, come back, and you'd still be alive with no health taken. So these are the type of spots that I'm on about. Every single original map has them. The newer ones, they have them spots, but they're not as well covered as the originals. So it will probably take a few times of playing the same maps to figure out where these, hi well not hiding spots, where these defensive points are. Um, the old, the original and the newer ones, they're all, they're slightly different. Uh, the original, there are only 10 waves. You cannot do any more than 10 waves. Um, and I believe the total at the end is 30,000. Um, now, this isn't one of their missions where the longer it takes you to do, the more money you get. No, it is set at 30,000, and you've got 10 waves. So, so every time you pass a mission you get three thousand dollars basically I don't know if it works out like that but I mean in a logical term that is how it would be um, the newer ones they don't just have ten waves you can alter it to have like 99 or like 999 it's, it's a I'm pretty sure it's, it's 999 but it just basically depends on how long you want to do it for. Um, obviously, they're set. The originals, once you get to wave 10, is when like the mini guns, fast, um, high rate of fire weapons and everything, stupidly insane damage. That's all. That's when comes when that all comes out. The newer ones, if you were to put it past 10 waves. I'm not sure if the weapons are any different. I think they just stick to like mini guns, and because obviously you can't use rocket launchers because that would be a bit OP and a bit unfair because you can't really defend yourself against a rocket launcher. Um, but yeah, past ten waves, I think it just sticks with mini guns and high rate of fire weapons. Obviously, the higher up you go in these waves, the more people that there are. I think the first one there's about like 12 people and then it goes up to 25, 30 people. Always, they always spawn in the same spots so there'll be, there'll be different sections around the map where the enemies spawn. So if you've got an enemy spawning in one location that is the spawn location. They will spawn in that zone every time whenever they spawn in that area that is where they will spawn it's not like random obviously it alternates it doesn't keep spawning in the same order um, but as you go on through the waves there will be new spawn locations just to make it a little bit difficult um, the zones you have to stay in they're not huge but they are placed like crates and various other things that you can hide behind um, obviously the different types of weapons to be used I'd say you can start off with pretty much anything at the beginning but as you get to the end I'd say use the um, 
the assault laser alien weapon merely because you don't have to reload it because some of these some of the newer ones you don't really have much cover and you don't want to be wasting time reloading your weapon um, when you got five or six people all shooting you at once so I'd, su I'd suggest using the um, alien weapons when you get the chance to um, but other than that, I mean, and also another hint of keep an eye out on the type of weapons that spawn because the type of weapons that spawn will kind of give you a hint on what to expect from the enemy. So if you've got SMGs and pistols, you know you're not going to be in for a challenge. Once the miniguns, combat MGs all start coming out, that's when you need to start, you know, getting into position, getting your weapons ready for it. Um, also you have a helicopter by I think round 6 and then round 10 you've got two helicopters and various times through the waves you've got multiple vehicles with three or four people in them as well. So hopefully that was a little bit of information for you if you haven't done the um, survivals before. They weren't very popular back in the day because of the amount you'd get I mean getting to 10 waves it, it takes a little bit of time and to just get thirty thousand dollars it wasn't really beneficial in much way but double money and they're you know they're different no one really does survivals but there's it takes away a bit of a bit of stress from the usual adversary modes that we have but hopefully it was all in all helpful for you if it was helpful in any way then do not forget to leave a like and comment what your best um, survival map is, what your favourite one is and what your best, I'd say best memory is of it. Like when you, if you started back in the day when if online first came out, what were your thoughts when the survival happened and what did you think of them at the time and what do you think of them now compared to back in the day when you used to start playing them. And obviously if you do go ahead and enjoy and subscribe then do not forget to click the notification bell to be notified on any videos updated on Leash to the channel and I will see you all in the next one.